The Philadelphia Eagles are 3-0 in consecutive seasons for the first time in 30 years. And coming up on today's show, a lot of news and observations to get to after the beatdown of the Bucks. First off, I want to send a thank you to everybody out there for continuing to support the program. Last night, our Eagles Buccaneers watch party, 132,000 people tuned in. We picked up 1,000 new subscribers, and we are now closing in on 54,000 subscribers. If you want entertaining informative, consistent Eagles updates every single day. This is your go-to spot here on YouTube. Smash that subscribe button. And with that, let's talk some birds right now. And with that, it's a Victory Tuesday on Eagles Now. I'm Chase Senior, no matter where you are, how you're tuned in. We appreciate you for making today's show a part of your day. And we appreciate Roan for making today's show possible. I'm wearing one of their computer polos right now. And you can get 20% off with the promo code SHATSPORTS to really spice up your wardrobe. If you're looking for the world's most comfortable dress shirts, quarter zips, polos, pants that look good and feel good, Roan is your answer, and we have a great deal for the Fly Eagles Fly family. Men's closets, they were due for a radical reinvention. Roan stepped up to the challenge. The commuter collection has the world's most comfortable, breathable, flexible set of products known to man, and here's why. When I look at my clothing items, I want products for every occasion. I can go from the golf course to a night out, host some shows here at Chat Sports. That's what the commuter collection allows me to do. And you never have to worry about what to wear when you have it. So for all my people watching, head to roan.com slash chat sports. Use the promo code chat sports to save 20% off your entire order. That is 20% off. Your entire order when you head to R-H-O-N-E dot com slash chat sports and use the code chat sports. It is time to find your corner office comfort, your golf course comfort, but clothes that are comfortable, premium quality clothes as well that can make you look good and feel good like the Eagles were in the all whites last night. Roan dot com slash chat sports 20 percent off your entire order. So I want to start off with this. My overall takeaway from the Eagles game last night. Philadelphia is 3-0, and they're 3-0 despite not having played their best ball up to this point in the regular season. And they join the 49ers and the Miami Dolphins as the only undefeated teams in the league heading into week four. For Philadelphia, a matchup against the Washington Commanders. And if Philadelphia can bring it all together and they can start to have that continuity, the explosive plays, the synergy offensively that they had last year because the defense has been great up to this point, look out. That's when this Eagles team could be scary because right now they're winning in a variety of ways with contrasting styles, and that can allow you to win ball games in September, October, November, December, January, and hopefully February. And last night, Eagles had to face a little bit of adversity down in Tampa. Now, Eagles fans took over Raymond James Stadium. It looked and sounded like a home game, but a lot of the marquee players on this Eagles roster, they were sick. A flu bug went through the Eagles locker room and multiple players didn't feel all that well. It did not matter. Philadelphia still dominated this football game when you take a look at the numbers. And how about the nine-minute drive to ice this game away and take the game clock to zero? The Eagles as a team like to take your will with their physicality, whether it's beating you up on the defensive line, running you over on the offensive line, or having this quarterback sneak formation that nobody in the NFL can stop. And last night, Philadelphia, 472 total yards to 174 for the Bucks, 78 plays to 44 for Tampa Bay, 201 rushing yards to 33 for the Buccaneers, and they won time of possession by nearly 17 minutes. And it's not like they had a bunch more drives as compared to the Bucks. Ten drives to nine. Yeah, you look at the discrepancy from the left side of your screen, Eagles numbers, and the right side of your screen, Bucks numbers. This was a thorough beatdown by Philadelphia. And this team has a Philadelphia identity right now. You know the saying, it's a Philly thing. It hasn't always been pretty. And it's not always pretty in Philadelphia, but there's flashes of great play, and the Eagles are physically overpowering. It's fun to see them take the other team's will. 
snatch their confidence and their souls right out of their body. That's what we like doing in Philadelphia, a tough, gritty, blue-collar city. And this team is really able to replicate the attitude of the city of brotherly love. And with that, let's talk about Jalen Hurts. Great performance last night. Did he throw two interceptions? Yes. But the Eagles passing game for the first time this year, I thought had some signs of life. The first pick that he threw, I thought it was a miscommunication as DeAndre Swift broke in. He thought that he was going to sit down on that route, intercepted by Devin White. The second pick, actually an accurate deep ball with some good touch on the long shot from Jalen Hurts to Devontae Smith. The safety comes over, good range, and makes a really good play. Now, that is four turnovers for Jalen Hurts in three games, and last year he did such a great job of keeping the ball out of harm's way, but we're seeing some strides here for Philadelphia, and it's not always easy when you go from one coordinator to the next, especially when you factor in that Shane Steichen has the Indianapolis Colts playing some pretty good football and had a great history developing Justin Herbert as well as Jalen Hurts. You take a look at Hurts' numbers last night, not an MVP-level performance by any means, but he too, suffering from flu-like symptoms, he wasn't feeling well, still goes 23-37, 277 yards, by far a season high as far as the passing yards go. Seven and a half yards per attempt. That's pretty good. The completion percentage continues to be very solid. And how about the throw that he made to Alameda Zacchaeus, where he hung in the pocket, pass protection held up, and he waited for something to develop downfield just in time to layer that football in to that second, third level, and Zacchaeus able to get his first touchdown as an eagle. That was a high-level quarterbacking play, and then early on that play, another splash play to Zacchaeus in which he had to put some touch on that football. And Hurts, when asked about dealing with those flu-like symptoms, kept it a buck. We won. And the Philadelphia Eagles have done a lot of winning in this current regime, led by Jalen Hurts and Nick Sirianni. It seems as though that's all that they're doing right now. This is a really impressive run for this organization. In their last 21 regular season games together, Hurts Sirianni, that combination for the Birds, 20 and 1. That is very, very impressive. And not a lot of teams across the NFL can say that they've gone on a run like this. All the Eagles do is win. And as a fan, you have to be pumped up about that. Now, can Jalen Hurts be better? Of course he can. Does he look a little bit less dynamic in running the football? Yes, he looks a little bit slower for whatever reason that is. And he's sliding a little bit earlier than he did last year, which I do agree with from a playmaking standpoint, though. Hasn't been the same guy as last year. But you're seeing some flashes of brilliance here and some progress from this Eagles offense. It also helped to get A.J. Brown going. Really good game last night. 14 targets. You could tell Philadelphia wanted to get him going with that game plan. Able to catch nine of those 14 targets for 131 yards. Average yards per catch, 14 and a half. I did have A.J. Brown. Anytime touchdown score, I thought that he dropped both of those opportunities, but still picking up yards after the catch. Him as a dynamic player, he's special. So too is DeAndre Swift. What a move by Howie Roseman. Lions cast off has become the Eagles gold. DeAndre Swift in his last two games has looked like after Christian McCaffrey, the second best running back in the National Football League. And after inexplicably, he only got two touches in week one and that 25-20 went over the New England Patriots. He's gone off the last two matchups, and he's given a spark to this Eagles offense, really adding an explosive element in that run game. Against the Vikings, 28 carries, a buck 75. That's a career high. And then against the Buccaneers, 16 carries for 130 yards. 8.1 yards per carry last night for Swift. Last two games, 44 totes, 305 yards, nearly 7 yards per carry. The offensive line has been great. They've opened up some gaping holes for Swift. His vision, explosiveness, speed, power, it's all been there as well. A great move for Howie Roseman, as I talked about all throughout the offseason. Now, before we continue to break this game down, plenty more to get to on this show. Don't you go anywhere. Continue to kick it with us. If you're pumped up about this 3-0 start, hit that thumbs up icon and like the video. It's a great opportunity to show your support for this Eagles football team. Important stats to know. For the Birds through three games. Defensively, Sean Desai, kudos and a hat tip. The Eagles have allowed 145 rushing yards. That is number one in the NFL. Last year was a massive problem. 
against the Kansas City Chiefs in the Super Bowl. A massive problem. The Eagles have addressed that with what might be the best defensive tackle rotation in the NFL. The Eagles have also gone after the football, forcing six fumbles. That is number one in the NFL. Their eight total takeaways combined with fumbles forced and recovered, as well as interceptions, the best mark in the NFC. And speaking of that Eagles defensive tackle rotation and this overall defensive line rotation, because it is special and Howie Roseman has built this football team up in the trenches, Jalen Carter, ladies and gentlemen, is a bona fide star. It's to the point where I want to get the man's jersey because he's playing so well and I love his potential so much as a player in this league and he's flashed greatness, dominance, him just being overpowering in only three games in his NFL career. He's been one of the best defensive linemen in the National Football League. Carter in three games, one and a half sacks, five combined tackles, two tackles for loss, two quarterback hits, two forced fumbles, his 15 total pressures, second among all defensive tackles. You know who's one? The guy who he's replacing, Javon Hargrave of the San Francisco 49ers. Six pressures when double team, that second in the NFL, all while playing less than 50% of the snaps. Will his snap load increase? I imagine because right now it's really difficult to keep him off the field, but it's also because the Eagles are so deep at defensive tackle with him, Jordan Davis, Fletcher Cox, and Milton Williams. And how about this? Pro Football Focus's list of the highest graded overall players in the NFL. We're talking offense and defense. Jalen Carter checking in at 93.2. Tyree Kill 1. Devon A-Chain, or A-Chan, I think is what he changed his name to, 94.4. Nick Bosa, 93.9. Miles Garrett, 93.8. Jalen Carter as a rookie, 93.2. The fifth highest graded player in the NFL, according to Pro Football Focus. It's a blessing, in a way, that he was able to drop to the Eagles at number nine. Howie Roseman and the Birds move up one slot to get him, and he has all the makings of becoming a franchise cornerstone and a star. The eye test tells you that. He looks different, plays different, moves different. And then the numbers are also backing that up right now. And what a duo, and a young duo at that, that the Eagles have here at defensive tackle. How many times last night did you see Jalen Carter and Jordan Davis collapse the pocket, move the pocket, body opposing offensive linemen to change and alter the play? They did it continuously. And to have Carter at that speed, power, size combination, and then to have Jordan Davis at 6'6", 340 on that safety, go back and watch it. The destruction that they caused on that play is extremely unique. And why I like where Philadelphia is right now, they've played C plus, B minus football, but they have premier players at different spots. They're figuring things out on the fly with two new coordinators, but you're seeing flashes of really good play and physical play, which can win at any month of the season. And I like where the Eagles are at right now. Now, if you're still rocking with us on the show here today, obviously a lot to get to. I hope you learn because we want to be insightful and entertaining here on the show. Give me a real one down below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button going live tomorrow, Wednesday, on Philadelphia Eagles Now. You don't want to miss it, and we'll catch you then.